Hello there Year 5s, it's Mr Conway here. Now for today's how-to guide, this is going to help you with your arithmetic paper that you're doing today. And the um, calculation I'm going to be focusing on today are the questions that you might have in questions 25 and 26 in the paper, and that is multiplying a three-digit number by a two-digit number. Now I know this is something that we've covered before in Year 5, but I just want to show you the how-to guide for laying the question out, because I think that's where we make our most of our marvellous mistakes. So I'm not going to do the same question that's on the arithmetic paper. I'm going to do a slightly different one. So the calculation I'm going to be focusing on is 208 multiplied by 35. Okay, so that's the calculation I'm going to be doing. So after this guide, I want you to go and have a go at doing it yourself. Right, so I'm going to lay this out now. So I'm going to write 208 multiplied by 35. Now, I know lots of you in my class will know straight away, if I keep my digits in the correct place value um, column, it will make my life so much easier. Now, I know when you've got squared paper, that can be slightly easier, but even without squared paper, you can make sure everything is lined up. So if I were just to do a little label on top here, I've got my ones, I've got my tens, and I've got my hundreds there. Okay, my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. So that's the first thing to solve in these calculations, is just making sure your place value is in the correct place. Now that we're in multiplication, I always start with the ones. And I've got 35 down here. I'm going to start with the five, okay? So I'm going to do five multiplied by eight. Five multiplied by eight. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So I'm going to put a zero and carry the four tens over. Now I'm going to do 5, so still stay with my 5, so I'm working with my 1's column still. 5 multiplied by 0. Well, that's obviously 0, because anything multiplied by 0 will always be 0. But don't forget to add that 4. 5 multiplied by 0 is 0, plus 4 gives me 4. Now I'm just going to rub that number a little far back, because I've used that now, but you can cross it off if you want to, okay? But make sure you get rid of it, so we don't get confused when we add it later on. Now I've done 5 times 8 and 5 times 0. Next I need to do 5, still with my 5 times 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. But because I've got nothing else on this side, I'm just going to write the number 10. Now I've started, I've finished with my 1s. I'm going to go to my 3, looking at my 10s column now. Because this is 3 10s now, my answer underneath is going to be 10 times greater, which is why I start my next row with a 0. Because when I start with a zero, everything's going to be 10 times greater. So I now need to do 3 times 8. 3 times 8. So you could either do your 3 times table or your 8 times table. I think I might do my 8 times table, so it'll be a bit quicker. 8, 16, 24. So I'm going to put my 4 here and carry my 2 over. 3 times 0 is still 0, plus my 2, which gives me 2. Now you make sure you cross that 2 off now, or rub it out, whatever you prefer to do. And then, of course, 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Now I've completed my calculations. All I need to do is add it up. And now hopefully you realise the importance of making sure your place value is in the correct columns. So I don't need to add any of this. I only add my answers. 0 plus 0 is 0. I'll do another equal sign here, actually. 4 plus 4 is 8. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus 6 is seven. Now then, if you have a look on your arithmetic paper, question 25 is very similar to this one, okay? Whereas question 26 is a slight difference because you have a four digit number multiplied by a three digit number. If I write the question out for you, it's actually 7,628 multiplied by 72. Now then, I'm not going to model this one because I want you to have a go at it yourself. The only difference is this has four digits and this has three digits. However, it's the exact same method, the exact same steps, okay? So if you can solve these types of calculations, then you can easily solve these ones as well. Now then, if you would like any further help with multiplying um, four-digit numbers or three-digit numbers by a two-digit number, please let me know and I can do another example video for you. Other than that, your fires, have a lovely day and enjoy your maths today.